uttermost salvation for his children. July 17. But this man, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood, wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hebrews 7, 24 and 25. Every provision has been made for our infirmities. Every encouragement offered us to come to Christ. Christ offered up his broken body to purchase back God's heritage to give man another trial. By his spotless life, his obedience, his death on the cross of Calvary, Christ interceded for the lost race. And now, not as a mere petitioner, does the captain of our salvation intercede for us, but as a conqueror claiming his victory. His offering is complete. And as our intercessor, he executes his self-appointed work, holding before God the censer containing his own spotless merits and the prayers, confessions, and thanksgiving of his people. Perfumed with the fragrance of his righteousness, these ascend to God as a sweet savor. The offering is wholly acceptable and pardon covers all transgression. Christ has pledged himself to be our substitute and surety and he neglects no one. He who could not see human beings exposed to eternal ruin without pouring out his soul unto death in their behalf will look with pity and compassion upon every soul who realizes that he cannot save himself. He will look upon no trembling suppliant without raising him up. He who through his own atonement provided for man an infinite fund of moral power will not fail to employ this power in our behalf. We may take our sins and sorrows to his feet, for he loves us. His every look and word invites our confidence. He will shape and mold our characters according to his own will. In the whole satanic force, there is not power to overcome one soul who in simple trust casts himself on Christ. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Isaiah 40, 29.